to fight and you're not just going to let them take your property on a short sale or Thank just you. walk away from really? it. You know, because their game is the short sale. I'm going to give you 2500 or I'm going to give you 5000 And you just go ahead and short sell it off to the, to the realtor and the realtor will sell it. Your home's a $300,000 home. They'll sell it for 150 to an investor and then the investor will turn around and sell it to someone else for 250 when the bank's going to automatically deal with you for that 150000 because you would have been able to manage that with the proper interest rate and the proper, uh, you know, down payment. You would have been able to handle that loan. But now they want to move you out of your house and give it to an investor who will turn around and give it to someone else for a higher price. The games that they're playing, the tracking games that they play, uh, put you in this situation where, oh, yeah, we're going to modify your loan, and at the same time, we're going to put foreclosure on your path, too. So I guess they're saying, hey, if you don't get the loan, boop, we're foreclosing right on you. So, you know, it's the trickeries that they play, the games they play, even though the government, the Obama administration is saying, yeah, we put forth these programs that are, are going to help the homeowners. Well, it's going to be up to the people to push those programs. It's going to be up to us to recognize that we've got to be the advocates that make these programs work. Because if we don't say nothing, those, that money that they allocated for homeowners is going to sit there, and then they're going to find a reason to use it for something else. And this is another thing why we got so good about our situation. We've got great politicians that come out of our community, like Tom Amianto, <laughs> Dave Campos, who's not here right now, but has been a fighter in our corner, and John Avalos, who's been a fighter in our corner, who I hope we're all going for higher offices, because these are the kind of people we need in our game fighting against these banks, because the lobbyists are controlling the politicians that are in there. When we went up to Sacramento for the Bill of Rights, when uh, Camilla Harris was putting that through, I don't know how many, how many lobbyists did we see going into these offices, closing the door. I mean, we had six guys from Comcast, all in three-piece suits going into, what are six guys going into a senator's <laughs> office for? You know, I mean, it must be a pat down game. How much money can you give them, Bob? I can give them this. I can, it's a game they play. And the only power that we have, the power that we have, and, and to show you how great this power is that we have as people, I mean, we look at the elections and we can see how money can't buy you a seat in politics if you don't have the votes. Here in our local government, uh, you look at Eric Ma. Eric Ma didn't have a lot of money. He didn't have a lot of money. But he still won against a person that had downtown supporting them. And downtown, I mean corporations supporting him. You know, I had a friend to tell me, oh, I, get, I got like nine or ten pieces of literature from this guy. I only got one from this guy. And I said, well, that one you got should be the one you support. Because I'm telling you where the money's coming from from him. It's coming from the people. We're going out and stepping out and walking the streets and doing the things that need to be done to make this person uh, uh, our representative, not the ones that are being paid by corporations. Hey, and, and remember this, <laughs> corporations <laughs> are not people. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, these are also something that Starbucks puts out. This is how we fight <laughs> foreclosures. This is how we fight foreclosures. They call them blitz. We contact the CEOs. We don't go to the bottom. We go to the top. And we have did more foreclosure successes. I mean, we had a millionaire come out in front of his house and say, hey, guys, this is my home. And they said, well, that's why we're here. Because we're trying to save our friends' homes. Our friends' homes. And he says, I don't have anything to do with that. But you know what? That Monday morning, that was a Sunday. That Monday morning, our eight, it was the Dark Star eight? Nation eight, Star. Nation Star eight. All got a call, I mean, got a call that their evictions were canceled. Their foreclosures were canceled. And they all are working on modifications. That tells you if we hit them in the head, the body will crumble. <laughs> <laughs>